世间所有事情，因缘而聚，因缘而散。再好的东西，再长久的东西，都有结束的一天。中国功夫传承了几千年，到了现在这个社会来，面临了很多的困境。一是传承，最重要的还有一个断代，就是还是传承的问题。很多人都都会说“长春归一”，但重要的“一归何处，归到哪里去”？禅呢，是什么？无又是什么？但练功当中呢，提到那个“长春归一”呢，是要求能达到那种身心高度的合一，讲究天人合一，是在一动一静之中。追寻那个刹那。这上面工啊！接下的一个责任，能不能中国这个文这个、这个学的这个传统文化断代失传，就看我们这一代。为什么？因为我们还接触过，还看到。如果不把这个传承记录，你们在做的是记录，我们再去做传承。不把这个传承下去，那下一代就根本看不到了。那才叫失传。现在是我们面临的这个问题。嗯、现在人的生活习惯、生活环境改变了，包括生活形态也改变了，那就影响到各个方面。比方说，我们小的时候，啊。还没有电视，看，没有电话，没有电脑，嗯，那现在社会人类进步到这个程度，寺庙里边也会有电话，也会有电脑。西方那个各个国家，我做演讲的时候，碰到很多所谓的西方人，学中国功夫学了几十年，他们的那个意思想意识的根深蒂固，就认为，就是他的老师教他什么样子，是什么样子，我很佩服这些西方人，对这个中国传统文化的，这种。传承学习的态度，中国人应该学，有多少中国人能做到他们？我还没有看到过多少。我看到很多西方人做到了，说意思吗？师傅教错了，他也始终认为就是这样子。需要。It is. Both spiritual, it is helpful for both the mind and body, and to help others. And it will also it also helps fight against old age and sickness. So um, 
Shaolin Kung Fu is what I must do. I must stay true to the Shaolin Kung Fu virtue. So before I started, I was, uh, I was kind of a, a misfit. Uh, I was always uh, causing mischief and uh, just, I didn't have any, I, I don't know, I just had too much time on my hands. So I was always getting into stuff that I shouldn't be doing. But uh, as soon as I started Shaolin Kung Fu, um, I felt an almost immediate change where I immediately saw all of the negative things that I have been doing and what I need to change in that moment right then. Like uh, all of the bad influences and uh, negative people and negative uh, things that I did in my life, I expelled it and I uh, got rid of all of, the, all of the negativity in my life. Uh, I went to a, a Buddhist temple a few months ago, right? And I told uh, this one guy that I do Shaolin Kung Fu, and he was just saying that Shaolin Kung Fu is only for performance uses. There's no uh, technicality or uh, practical use for it. As I listened to him, I started to understand that uh, not many people know about it. When I was younger, I used to get picked on a lot, mm -hmm. beat up and made fun of, and I used to like be like this. Mm -hmm. um, but when I started training when I was 12 years old, all of a sudden I went from like like this to like standing like this. And then after you have like a different energy, people don't want to fight you anymore. Yeah, so it's a really interesting kind of like a paradox. Like you, some people join it because they're getting picked on, and after training for such a long time, they think, well, one day I'm gonna fight and I'm never gonna uh, get picked on again. But something happens into you inside where you don't, you look stronger. And when people look stronger, naturally people don't wanna fight anybody who's strong. They wanna fight someone who's not strong. Mm -hmm. That's like a bully, yeah. Bully only wants to fight people they know they're gonna win. So they go to the people like this, who look like, oh, they won't fight. My name is Veronica Christensen. My Dharma name is Shi Yang Guang. Um, I took refuge under the abbot of uh, uh, Shi Yong Jin in 2009. Uh, I've been studying Shaolin Kung Fu uh, since uh, 2008, um, having a very uh, emotional nature. Uh, it has helped really calm me down and make me a little more even in my temperament, which has been very helpful. And also uh, my physical strength. Um, in fact, uh, my doctors, when they saw my numbers, you know, the medical blood count and all of the, the cholesterol and all that, and they just say, I don't know what you're doing, but keep doing whatever it is you're doing. I loved fighting when I was a kid. So uh, I wanted to fight. So every time I learned something, I like to fight in the street to see what I learned. Eventually, uh, my Sifu taught me that it was not about fighting. And it's about controlling yourself. Uh, sometimes he saw me with a black eye, so what happened to you? Oh, I fall, so no, you don't fall. So what happened? Oh, it was a fight. So why? So because I wanted to fight. So eventually, I, I mean, I grew up. I learned that uh, the philosophy of a Shaolin Kung Fu is about being healthy, and the main fight is against yourself. 